Hello everyone, GoPro with Anthony S. Fiore Jr., March 8, 2016, on our way to the Great Mordell in Pennsylvania, traveling down Route 78 West Bethlehem. This is where Sands Casino is, it's a big attraction. Enjoy the ride through beautiful Pennsylvania, and thanks for riding along with me. Enjoy my vision, my adventure, and enjoy the ride to Spain. It's a little longer than expected but I have a long way to drive so enjoy my ride thanks for riding along have a nice day and enjoy beautiful Pennsylvania I am the hero GoPro with Anthony S. Fiore Jr. travel update traveling through Allentown Pennsylvania on our way to the Great Horned Owl trying to do this trip once a week documenting the birth of the babies I haven't seen it but the people I've spoken with said it's just amazing and this is a lot of fun for me documenting this it's worth a an hour and a half ride 70 miles just a, just a few hours my time so enjoy my vision and if you can keep our friend Becky in your prayers she needs it right now so just praying for the family thank you I was up at Merle Creek back in 2014 photographing the snow geese and the bald eagle flew through and that, that was it I've been addicted ever since. I heard the bald eagle was in the park, but never got to see it. But that's a day I'll never, never forget because it created a problem. I'm addicted to birding. And everything else is a bonus. So I just can't explain what I do. I just do it. And I'm glad you're enjoying my work. Thank you. I would like to explain my photography. Maybe I can't explain it because it's so hard to understand. I'm not a technical person. I just know how to take a picture. And evidently I'm doing something right because people like what I do. It's just my passion, my vision. I photograph many things, professional hockey. I did some music, some people. I photographed Seamus and Patrick, my puppies, but nothing fascinates me more than nature photography. And I don't classify, classify myself as a birder. Maybe I am a birder. That's what they tell me. But I just love nature. So enjoy my work. Now we're going to go see the owls, see what we can get. So, thanks for riding along. I just want to explain the biggest thing I've done as far as music photography. Back in 2006, CBS had a TV show called Rockstar in Excess. And the runner-up was a fella named Marty Casey. He's from Chicago, Illinois. Well, his band, the Love Hammers, were traveling through New Jersey and performed at the Stone Pony in Asbury Park. And Marty allowed me to photograph this for him. And that only happened because of my professional hockey photography. My wife and I were invited to the sound check. It was just wonderful. And we met so many nice people because of Marty Casey. That same year, we traveled to Chicago to photograph the Love Hammers at the Metro, his big hammer jam, which was phenomenal. I all, then again, I met some more people. It's just amazing how many people love this person. Then 2008, 2009, he was performing with the LA Guns. He did some writing and it, I shot him at the Coliseum in Lancaster or Harrisburg. And then I shot him at this place in Pottsville, PA. And I happened to be there when he got injured. He cracked his head open, jumping up and down on the stage into Tracy Guns' guitar. 
I was called to the dressing room, got the blood shot. These are my best pictures. Then I think in a, a year later, two years later, he his band, the Love Hammers, released another album, and they perform at the Gramer Gramercy Theater in Manhattan, which I photographed. So I guess I'm officially a, a concert photographer. Thank you, Marty. Casey. This is Johnny Brown. Another thing done. I was running in the hip hop world. I was able to photograph Ja Rule. I think it was 2009. It was two weeks before he we went to jail. I had a co-worker who was into the hip-hop music scene and his artist, a guy named Diggs, we opened up for Ja Rule and Murder Inc. allowed me to shoot the show. We're VIP, got to meet Ja Rule. It was an unforgettable evening. It's something I'll never forget because I, I wasn't a fan, but to be up that close, it was awesome. That same year, his other artist, a guy named Raman Apollo, he's from East Orange, New Jersey. The history of Raman Apollo, he was a writer with So So Deaf, Jermaine Dupree's label. He wrote all Bow Wow's music, he toured with Bow Wow. He was also part of Jagged Edge. He's performed with Mary J. Blige. The guy was a cool dude. And that was... I just can't explain it. It was a lot of fun and I miss it. And he's a nice guy. So I was part of the team trying to get him a record deal. But being he had the falling out with Jermaine. Nobody's going to touch him which is sad because he's a talent. And I, I can call him up or I can even catch up with him. We go to IHOP for breakfast. He's a nice guy. So that's something else I've done. I was part of the hip hop scene. Now I'm into country music. You know, I'm working with this phenomenal country singer out. Well, she's a local girl, but she's recorded in Nashville. Her name is Nikki Breyer. So now I'm, in, now I'm into country music. I, and I grew up heavy metal, so it's like a big swing. I can't explain it. You know, photography's photography. And I'm just, I have a wonderful and photography privilege. allows me to see things and meet so many interesting and cool people. I'm friends with Nick Clements, who's, who's the son of Clarence Clements of the E Street Band. And knowing Nick, um, it's a, it's wonderful. The people that I got to meet through him, and the music community, everyone knows each other. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a family. Now, if you don't know music, it's everybody knows each other, and I'm like part of it now. So it, it's fun. And then I go to my work which it allows me my passion. All right, thank you.